Hi there and welcome to this week's golf equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin here with Frank Thomas and we're at the putting pad at Reunion Resort in Orlando, Florida so hop along for a putting lesson. We're just back from our summer travels um, where as we were travelling around visiting various places we noticed a proliferation of golf carts in places that we previously hadn't seen too many um, and you know obviously the golf cart is important for many people to be able to continue to play the game but you know there's advantages and disadvantages and you know it's overall impact on the game Frank. Right I think people think that uh, the golf cart uh, actually speeds up play in many cases it doesn't it slows it down uh, uh, because we really don't know how to play in a golf cart we need some golf cart etiquette. Uh, there are many people who need a golf cart uh, without the golf cart they wouldn't be able to play. Uh, there are many people who need a golf cart to carry that ice bucket and six pack around with them. <laughs> so uh, you know but unfortunately designers are now designing golf uh, courses around the golf cart which are ma making the golf courses unwalkable. And walking is some part of the game that I think I really miss and, and if we did that we'll probably be a lot fitter and wouldn't need golf carts. Uh, but I really would like the opinion of, of, of our viewers let, let me know what you think about golf carts and whether or not they've uh, helped or hurt the game. Absolutely. Share your views on franklygolf.com. Uh, we'll be back in touch next week, but until then... May the frog be with you. <laughs>